go. I use her. This is a for the Thai bomber. Well, undercover, you have to go through Bert and Viola. Uh, they won't be here till tonight because we have um, specific um, things that our moderators have to do. And so it's one of those kind of things that I'm not in charge of that. Hey, Vilville. Nice to see you. Hi, Simon. Thank you. Good day to you as well. As sleeping soup, it's evening where you're at? Well, yeah, it is, especially if you're over in the UK. Hi, radio guy. Nice to see you. Welcome to the show. Or Hi, that guy. Anyway, this is the Thai bomber part. Now, the thing about the Thai bomber thing is they always have these bomb-based clothes. They never show you what it is. Well, I built a bomb or a missile or whatever you want to call it that is going to fit down inside of here. But I have to spray paint this before I actually stick this in. And this whole thing is going to set right on here like so. And that is uh, that will finish up the bottom of this Thai bomber. Then all I have to do is I have to put the windshield in it. And so uh, while this is going to be drying because I have to paint it and I have to hold it with it with this to be able to paint it. Hi, hi, sweetheart. Nice to see you. Thank you, Vilville. I, I, I like the phone show, too. Thank you very much. Um, I, I love the heck out of doing this show for everybody. And it's just an honor to have you host me. Hi, Shelvick. Um, as far as I know, if somebody kidnapped your gnome, because here's the problem. Uh, all the gnomes are petrified. And so if somebody kidnapped your, your gnome, probably will not come back. You'll have to buy a replacement. I'm doing good, Butterfly. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you, user. I salute you all. Thank you for being part of this amazing phone show. Yeah, yeah, okay. Here we go. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it'll show better if I stand up. How about that? Yep. And so... I'm trying to revive the gnome culture because I think they're uh, a fantastic part of society that's missing. Undercover, your your failing art class. Class, this is a uh, toy art by paper. I don't know. Christmas doesn't mean anything to me. I'm a garden gnome. I uh, don't know Santa, um, and I don't know any of his elves. Uh, so it's one of them kind of things. Yeah. Yes, undercover. Uh, check it out. It's called The Paper Engineer on YouTube. Uh, good points on there, because once you get good at this, then you can start building stuff like this, this Thai bomber. Or maybe you're not interested in the Thai bomber. Maybe you want to make R2-D2 or C-3PO, all right? It, which you can do either well, all made of paper. And so these are all things that you can do. Uh, and it just takes a little bit of practice and some recycled paper out of your kitchen. Well, thank you, user. Hi, Kay. Welcome, my friend. Nice to see you. Salute. Look at this. All right. I use recycled paper on everything. And. 
years ago. I taught myself how to do this. This whole thing. I learned this and I teach it. Jet lag. <laughs> yeah, Kay, I get that. Jet lag. Absolutely. And here's the thing. Uh, when he's when he's hauling booty, then this uh, this leg comes out like so, and he zooms across. And so, this is the fantastic stuff you can do with recycled paper. Learning my principles, because I teach you how to make uh, a superstructure. All right, my chassis piece is this one right here that I started this. Then I build a superstructure. Then I I fill it in. Superstructure in here, and then I'm filling in this baseball bat. Oh, and by the way, if anybody would like to get in on Negan's baseball bat uh, from The Walking Dead, it's a dollar of TikTok money, and uh, that's 200 roses or more. Gets you in on this for next uh, Friday at noon is when the gnome wheel to win this uh, will go off. <laughs> yeah, I know, okay. It really is. And, uh, uh, matter of fact, when I'm done with this Thai bomber, I'm going to start on this uh, on this uh, Zeku. And once you get to this point, you have to build your stands into it before you put it all together. Otherwise, you can't do it. And I like to be able to play with my toys. And so that's, uh, you know, that's what I do. Thank you, Butterfly. Absolutely. And, and here, I got to show you guys something else since you're all interested in and this stuff here. This is kind of important. All right. I started by making micro machines. And I learned how to make a lot of structure by building micro machines. All right. Because it's important to learn how to make them strong enough so that you can play with them. All right, and by learning my techniques, these all have a superstructure in them, and then uh, skin on the outside, and then armor over that. And by doing this, you can build it, basically anything you want from paper. All right, it just it, learn what I do. This is it. is very cool and then when you got your friends over playing games and stuff or you go over there and you pull out something they've never seen before user i can make a katana but i don't have time i have to finish this build once i finish negan's baseball bat my next build has to be either a darlicks or uh the sonic screwdriver from doctor who after that i plan on building a katana uh from The Walking Dead. Peace. Still have paint. Of course, the guys get them to patch it before they could even make it home. And so anyway, then I got better at it and I learned more and I built better looking toys. This and this Bombay, I was been building on this. This is going to go down here like so. I'm doing good, Raffisher. Wait, that's Fisher. Fish art. Wait, 
R A F Rafish. Arf, 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 Rafish. I have to go with Rafish. Hi, Aaron. Nice to see you. Welcome. <laughs> Sorry, Hung. katana uh, it's going to take a few weeks before i do that i've got to make 10 of these first and then i have to do some you know uh, doctor who stuff before i can make um Michonne. laminated that takes a lot of very careful uh lamination work to be able to build a katana out of paper that looks good and won't fall apart Well, that's okay, um, user. Why don't you just put best user in front of user? Take all them numbers out of there and put best user in there, 44. I bet you that would work absolutely fine, and it's not a name that anybody else has. Hi, Kyler. Welcome in. Nice to see you all. And thank you all for sharing my live with others and uh, getting new people to come here and visit the phone show. And thank you for hosting me. You vet user. Um, and I'm pretty sure that there is no best user 44 uh, in here. I'm doing good, Kyler. I hope you are as well. Yes, Red. Uh, Red Eye? Yes. Uh, 20 years. I've only been out for three. And if you want to know about that, Red, I can't talk about it here. But I did a my home page and go to my link tree open the link tree up and there's a place in there on the link tree called now chat podcast tap on that it takes you right to it and it tells the whole story because uh doggone it tiktok bans me for that howdy rez nice to see you it's been a minute, but darn it, Rez, you've been busy with that new playground you've been working on. Shoot. You know, you had to throw some hoops with your son. Family's good, and I've been busy, uh, Rez. This is what I'm working on. I've almost got this Thai bomber finished. This is the Bombay right here that I've got to it. And so this is what I'm working on, and I'm doing... Uh, some baseball bats from The Walking Dead, uh, Negan's Bat Lucille. Thank you, Dill. Cenus? I'm doing good, Cenus. How about you? I hope you're doing good as well. Yeah, Rez, thank you. It, yeah, it's been a this was the closest piece that I had to be in finished that was a big one. So I've been spending, uh, this is two weeks now, I've been working on this. Uh, the toy show is tomorrow, and I want to take this to the toy show and show it off. And uh, I'm also going to take this one to show off at the toy show as well. And so, yeah, it's one of those kind of wonderful things that, uh, you know, I, I do <laughs> just to like stay busy. <laughs> you bet, Red Eye. Thank you. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of good at this paper stuff. And I love to teach it. If you go to my YouTube site, you guys, you can learn how to do this. Yeah, yeah. I love that tank too because uh, it's a concept tank. And when I found it online, it was just a missile tank. And I thought to myself, I said, well, just, just a missile tank. that It has to have something to protect it. So I built that front turret on it with guns. Nice to see you. Cheers, everyone. I'm the old Pepsi generation. I want to start a new one.
Well, Dream, uh, which YouTube are you talking about? Because I'm over there too. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Uh, 17th time I missed your comment. Holy mackerel. I, I don't mean to do that, honey bunny. Uh, the guy with the paper crown? Oh, yeah, I don't know him. Oh, that's great, Leland. Thank you. I haven't... Now, come on. The 17th time, now the 18th time. I didn't miss it. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Hey, Adam, am I on the other channels? All right. Oh, fantastic junk food. That is fantastic news. Awesome. The number one is doing a job and helping the paper army. I absolutely believe that 100%. Note, of course I remember you. Note, how are you doing? Thank you, Adam. Yes, junk food, they are. Hi, baby. Good morning. One more day. Toy show tomorrow. You bet, Note, and that's good to hear. I'm glad you're good, doing well. I hope your family is doing equally well. Thank you, user, very much. And I respect you all, because here's the thing. You host me in your homes, in your phones, in your computers. I'm not a host. I'm just, I'm just a phone show. You have to host me, because if you don't turn on the channel, I don't see you. You don't see me. So you're hosting me. All these people say, oh, I'm the host of this show, you know, uh, uh, and I have comedy and stuff. Well, hogwash. That's because they have people in the audience. My audience is right here. My my family on TikTok. Hi, Kakeko. Nice to see you. Howdy, Alex. Thank you. And it is. And I believe that 100%. And so it's easy for me to say because I, I have, I believe it. Okay. So now I kind of need to just put a little bit of spray paint on this before I do that. I need to put one of these on here. So <laughs> yep. Fifty eight. Welcome. Nice to see you, huh? Hi, Inflation. Welcome. Nice to see you today. And now, these little pieces of paper right here, I'm just putting them inside this because I had to, um, I had to open these bomb bays. And I know for a fact that if you don't reinforce them, if somebody bumps one, they just fall off because the glue is just held on this very tiny edge. And so by putting this gusset in the back of your door, now it can't fall off. Even if it gets bumped, it might come loose, but it won't come off. Well, according to the thing user, you're worth number three. Um, talk to the paper engineer stalker, uh, Rez. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about him passing away. 
That's unfortunate. Goes for the overall rankings. Oh, isn't that interesting? And thank you all for putting up all the likes that you do. Every show, you guys are 20,000. All right, junk food. Nice to see you. Take care. Thank you very much, junk food. And I will have a good toy show tomorrow. Yet yeah, you bet, Rez. And uh, let's see, user. User says, I'll take it. Okay, I got lost, user. And I try not to let that happen very often. Okay. I have to I have to hold this and paint this. How am I gonna do that? Oh wait, I'm not done yet. I gotta put these little door pieces on. Well, huh? I'm doing very good. How about you? Hi, David. Nice to see you. Return, uh, return to sender. Sweetheart, I've answered a bunch of your comments. I don't understand why you're not hearing me. Yeah, definitely. Uh, actually, we've got sun today, but it's about, it, it's, it's cold outside. And so it's, um, where it's, you know, it's heading into winter here. And so, but yeah, it, it's sunny and cold. I am doing well. And what is that? Oh, yeah, user. Are you over in the UK? Uh, Neil, I am working on a... I'm finishing up the Bombay piece that goes right here. And that will almost complete it except for the cockpit. That's the only thing that I'm probably not going to get done for the toy show. Hi, Simon. Oh, you're in South Africa. Oh, okay. Yeah, your time frame is uh, the, almost the same as Europe. This is my morning show here uh, from 11 to 1. Thank you, Theodora. Welcome to my show again. I know, I know, huh? I'm working on it, though. I'm getting better at it. And so 
I haven't had as many people come in from South Africa or, or Africa, period. And so when they say it's dark and stuff like that, or it's one in the morning or it's at eight o'clock at night, then I'm, I'm guessing those time zones. Yeah, JK. So that puts you, let's see, 1930, 18.7. So it's seven o'clock. Yeah, that puts you in the UK or somewhere close to that. Oh, absolutely, Theodora. Look at this. Oh, thank you, Tracy, for the rose. I'm doing very good, Tracy. Thank you. Almost lunchtime in California. <laughs> it's almost lunchtime here. I'm in Washington State. And so, anyway, yes. And I use all recycled paper out of my kitchen. This is the fun thing. Cereal boxes, soda boxes, cracker boxes. They all make beautiful stuff. Yeah, JK. Yeah, the UK. Got it. Hi, Phil. Welcome, my friend. Nice to see you. How are you doing? Cheers, Phil. Pepsi generation. I'm the old one. We're going to start a new one. Uh, no Santa hat. Only my gnome hats. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know Santa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, I have boxes of this stuff, too, but I don't use cardboard. It's one of those kind of things that you can't make the things I make with cardboard. You have to have card stock. Okay, Phil, that's cool. Some people like a bite of your soda. Oh, that's fantastic, Tracy. Yeah, I have some Pepsi Max too, but it's in the house. It, it, I took it over to Joe's fridge and I put it in there. So if we, you know, when we have movie night or something like that, I have I have one over there. Oh, another one? Oh, it's over here. Thank you very much. Yep. I'm like mini Pearl. Anybody that knows Minnie Pearl understands that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, yeah, Dill. Absolutely. No, uh, no, Theodora. These are these are cardstock. Cardboard is corrugated. You can't build with it when it comes to building this stuff. You have to use the cereal boxes and soda boxes and stuff. They're cardstock, not the same. nights on Friday night too with Joe. 
I can't tonight because I have to get up at four in the morning, leave by five o'clock in the morning to go to the Kent Commons toy show because it's almost a two hour drive up there. Hour, hour and 15 minutes, I would say probably, but I don't know for sure. Oh, well, if you call it cardboard, um, it's actually not. If you have boxes like that, cereal boxes and stuff, it's cardstock, just like they make greeting cards and stuff out of. And cardboard is actually different from cardstock. Um, I can't even, yeah, I can show you something. Uh, this doesn't show it. No, I got to do it. Something else. I don't have it. I really need. Okay, here, here. This this will do it. Okay, this is cardboard. Okay, it's corrugated. Completely different uh, application. Yeah. So you're using cardstock, Theodora. Uh, not uh, yeah, because cardboard won't work building this cool stuff. It's just too heavy. It won't work. Yeah, I will, Dill. That's why I'm, uh, I, I, for the last two days, I've been getting up earlier, going to bed earlier and getting up earlier. <laughs> I I don't really have a favorite movie. It's hard. To, it's hard to say. I've watched too many movies. If I miss your comments, you guys, because they're going by real fast, re-comment. Hi, Lynx. Nice to see you. Hi, user El Pepe. <laughs> oh. News. Welcome to my phone show. In a deep voice, please. Uh, it's the best I can do. You're right. Maison? Blackbird? I, this is what I'm doing today. I'm finishing up the Thai bomber. I won't get it done. I'm not going to be able to get the windshield in, but I will get the Bombay completed. And uh, that's what I'm working on right here is getting all the finishing touches on this so I can paint it. Uh, no, Theodora. My wife gets them for me. Okay, Kapaja. Nice to see you. Uh, when I was a kid, I used Legos, but that the the legos today are way way beyond what i had i remember when they first came out i had a set of legos when they first came out and um they were a pretty big thing legos came out and lincoln logs kind of like
Yes, yes, this, this, yes. It's the it's the barbed wire that's hard. Because uh, I build a superstructure and it down like I do everything else, and so that's working okay. But it's figuring out how to make little teeny tiny barbed wire, uh, and I think I know how to do it. Yes, yeah, Simon, absolutely. Yeah, Lincoln logs are fantastic, Stefan. Uh, and I don't, I don't even think they have them anymore. Because I do believe the price of lumber is stupid high. Yeah, they were fun. Thank you, Blackbird. Erector sets too. Yeah, absolutely. I believe have erector sets. Although I don't think I've seen one in a long time. Oh, that's cool, Stefan. Uh-oh, we got some comments filtered. <laughs> that wasn't you chewing me out, was it, sweetheart? Well, Dill, I have to actually um, make the barbed wire look right. And so I think I can use the little teeny tiny bendy wires I have wrapped around some copper wire. And I think that will uh, pretty much make it look right. And so, all right, user, take care. Welcome to my phone show. <laughs> okay, baby. Well, I think I have all the wire that I need. I just have to find my 14 gauge malleable wire and strip it down. And I can't remember where I put that when I moved. That's the hard part. Okay, wait just a second here. I need to go back to that. Oh, that's not what I want. Oh, there it is. Right there. Aha. Okay. <laughs> I've built about 150 or 160. But that counts the 40 micro machines I've made. And not count, and that also counts. Uh, the case hundred and fifty or one hundred and sixty pieces that are in the world. Well, I think I think what I'm going to do is use this wire right here because it's very thin, but it's it's thicker than the uh, than the bendy wire I have. And so what I'll be able to do is um, use that wire, then put the bendy wire around and nip them off so that uh, they're at specific positions, and then take two strips of that wire and twist it all together to lock it all in place. That's cat. Hi, cat. Nat the cat. <laughs> How are you doing, Nat? Welcome to the show. All right, now I got those. Now what I have to do... Actually, I should paint that black. 
really should. That would save a, a lot of that. Okay. Mm hmm. This here. No, I need this one. Yep. Set that where I can get to it. Take this and grab a hold of that. <clears throat> Brady, take one of these over here. <laughs> well, uh, I've been thinking about this for a little while on this, uh, on this barbed wire. I got this little tiny bendy wire. And I believe that I'm going to be able to hold it with like tweezers really tight and then make a couple of wraps. the wire together which will lock these all these little barbs in place and so i, I think i've got a good idea uh, once i get to making the application it might be a little bit different because usually the best laid plans of mice and men sometimes run astray now i wrap the rubber band around this so now I can hold this thing and I can very carefully spray paint it right here because the spray won't go very far. Okay, now that takes care of that. And since I have a, a little space heater down here, I just lean forward and stick it in front of the space heater and let it dry. Well, uh, you can get banned. Uh, that would fix things, Ben. <laughs> Sorry. TGIF means, thank God it's Friday. Thank you, Queen. I brought jewelry. I bought comic books and some old toys and my new toys and um, role-playing books. I just got a whole plethora of things that I'm going to be selling. So I'm, I'm going to do really good. Oh, thank goodness it's Friday. Nat. Okay. Thank you, Nat. <laughs> I'm just, you know, my dyslexia screws stuff up. It's going good, Slater. How you doing? Uh, no, that's a ho, ho, ho. Uh, no, Simon. Uh, I'm not. Uh, Santa gives you toys. All right? So you got a toy, and when you break it, it's gone. I don't do that. I'm a garden gnome. See here? Garden gnome? Yeah. 
And I teach you how to make you toys from recycled paper out of your kitchen. It's the coolest hobby ever, right? It doesn't cost hardly anything, period. You got this. You need some of this. Elmer's or PVA if you're in Europe. Or, uh, yeah, and or, and you need some uh, acrylic paint. Oh, <laughs> that's okay, Simon. <laughs> Tell your daughter she's a sweetheart. Yeah, uh, most of the comics that I'm taking are just cheap ones, two bucks a piece. But I got a couple of $25 ones and a couple of the $100 ones. And so if I sell one of those, I'll be happy. If I sell a couple of those 25s, that'll be good too. Because this is all comic books that I didn't know were saved from 25 years ago. Oh, that's good, Simon. What's your daughter's name? I'll give her a shout out. Yes, Queen, they are. Uh, very much so. Maisie? Nice to meet you, Maisie. And I have dyslexia, Maisie. I hope I got your name right. Welcome to my phone show, Maisie. You're welcome, Simon. Are you watching me on your TV or on your phone or laptop, Simon? Yeah. Oh, that's good news, because with my dyslexia, I never know if I'm saying a name right. Thank you, Matrix. And me as well. Hope you have a good show. A smartphone? Okay. Um, hey, Simon, I've, I've heard that you can take your smartphones and mirror. D. Oh, That's pretty sick, the Thai bomber. This one here is fairly amazing. It was over 11,000 pieces to build this. And I had to count all that stuff. So when you think about it, that's 44,000 cuts. And so, yeah, th this one here is pretty insane. It's going to the toy show, but I doubt that it'll sell because it's too much money. But who knows? You know, maybe Elon Musk will show up at the toy show and, and give me a boatload of money for this. F1, I build... I build toys and I teach people how to build toys out of recycled paper out of my kitchen. Uh, F1, if you go to my YouTube site, The Paper Engineer, you can learn how to do this. Yeah, I, and I don't know how we're going to be able to fix all that with YouTube and everything else, but TikTok works really good. Oh, it's... Uh, it, it's it's, <laughs> I turned down $200,000 on it. And so, yeah. Um, so I'm not sure. 
Um, I won't make another one for a million. Uh, Matrix, it took uh, 536 hours. Uh, not Santa, okay? Wait a minute, tell... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Queen. And the Star Destroyer, if somebody come up with uh, with half a million dollars, I'd sell it. Yeah, Adam. And this one. You're pre recorded. Say, yes, yes, and that's I N T E L intelligence. Well, intelligence, if you go to my YouTube page, The Paper Engineer, subscriptions are free. Right here, I teach you how to use this stuff. I've been doing this now for 13 years. I taught myself how to do this. I build all this stuff. Everything that you see on my YouTube and on my TikTok page is all recycled paper for my kitchen. I have had to buy Elmer's Glue, a PVA if you're in Europe. And acrylic paint. Otherwise, that's it. Because it's the only one in the world. And I want uh, half a million dollars for it. If it never sells, I don't care. My name is uh, Michael. Uh, there's too many Mikes, so I don't go by Mike much. I mean, people call me Mike, but I'm a Michael. Okay, A A D R I A D. How do I pronounce that? I have dyslexia, and it's really hard. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Yeah, queen. And I play with all my toys. All right. What have I got over there? Oh, got another one over here I can show you. All right. This one, when it's flying, the wings are down like so. And the stand goes on like this. All right. But when it gets ready to land, of course, it's like so. And then it lands, and that's what it is. This is Cade Skywalker's ship from the graphic novel series uh, Legacy. Uh, Mason, I'm building a TIE bomber today. Battery? Yes, these are all paper. Recycled paper from my kitchen. i show you. This is my concept tank. It is also on my YouTube page. Stuff.
Thank you, Bugatti guy, very much. Absolutely, Rip, I am not blue. I don't know how people can really get that messed up. Yes, battery, but they're very expensive. Hi, Jack. Nice to see you. Oh, that's cool from Poland. Welcome. Nice to see you. I salute you all. Thank you for showing up at my phone show. Hi, Daddy. No, that's a ho, ho, ho. No, 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 Santa. Not here. Garden gnome. All right. Santa gives you toys. I do not. You go to my YouTube site, The Paper Engineer, you can learn how to make these toys for yourself. Yep, absolutely. Oh, Grizzly. Or is that Gizly? Hi, Gizly. Welcome to the show. M-A-U-R-I-T-I-U-S. Mar Maritas? I don't even know where that is. And that's ho, ho, ho. No, not Santa. I'm from Washington State, Battery. Hi, cat girl. Nice to see you. M-A-U-R-I-T-I-U-S. Marit Maritas? Maritas? Where is that? Hi, Rip. Of course, I like Star Trek. It was the first sci-fi show that I watched when I was a kid. Well, thank you very much. G-L-I's Glizzy. Oh, thank you, Glizzy. Uh, sorry about butchering your name. My dyslexia really sometimes makes it really rough. Oh, well, I'm glad you came in, uh, Glizzy, because uh, this show is easier to watch for you than my late show. Wait a minute. I'm at my grandma's, so I have to go by. Okay, 2K, tell your grandma I said hi. That. Sure, I made your name wrong. I'm, I know I did. Ahmed, welcome. Thank you for stopping. It's an island. Oh wow! Where, hi, Daddy. Where's Where's the island at? And I've never heard of it before. So it's something else. I love Star. put it somewhere so I wouldn't lose it and then of course I misplace it oh I misplace it oh boy that oh there it is found it Yeah, Tom, he uh, he actually died for all sin, period. Hi, Pathfinder. Welcome. I'm glad you found your path back here. Thanks for stopping. Adriad. Maybe I got it right this time. Thank you, Adriad. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, hi. <laughs> T-E-H-A. I got to say hi. <laughs> Maybe I'll Oh, that's, a, that's entirely possible because it's a name I don't recognize. Uh, Glovent. Annus, Annius, 1890. Uh, ho, ho, ho. No. Garden gnome. Much different than Santa. 
Yeah, hi, Daddy. Uh, not Santa. Sorry. Uh, the closest thing you're going to come to that is if you go to my YouTube site. And subscriptions there are free. And learn how to do this so you can make your own. Thank you. It kind of matches a little bit. No, I haven't made any sandwiches making pita bread yet or with pita bread. Adriad? Well, thank you. Uh, it took my dyslexic brain a little while to figure that one out. Uh, oh, cat girl, I've got comic books and some toys uh, that I've gotten here and there. And uh, some role-playing games and a bunch of my models and uh, some T-shirts. I got a bunch of stuff to, to, to move. And so we'll see how well it works. I think I can make some money. I, I know, Rip. <laughs> everyone that says my name, everyone that calls me Santa, put a dollar's worth of TikTok money on my account, please. For every Santa you call me. That would be funny. Yes, TikToker, he does. I can call you 58. <laughs> okay. Thanks, 58. That works better. Thank you, Rip, for the chill. E peppers. Italy's fantastic. I love all the countries in the world. And that's Jan. Spicy hot. Yes, they are, Rip. Thank you. Howdy, Kelly. Nice to see you. Yeah, I have no idea. I, I just, I have no idea. Oh, South Sudan? Oh, wow. That's Keg. Nice to meet you, Keg. I think you're the first from the South Sudan area. Canada? Thank you, Rusty. <laughs> I know, that would be cool. Uh Very much. And I agree. Um, I talk with him daily. I ask him to help the paper army and all the people that I know. And uh, so far, it's been working really, really well. Oh, that's fantastic. Jayon. And I, am I getting your name right? Jayon? Oh, Jayon. Jayon. From Greece? Welcome. <laughs> well well thank you Adria A D R Adri Ad Adriad. Well thank you very much, Adriad. I appreciate that. Um no, the oldest one is uh, I think nineteen nine nineteen eighty I think 1987 is the oldest one I've got. Connor? Connor Barlow. Welcome to my show, Connor. Nice to meet you. I hope you have friends listening because, ha, a shout out to Connor Barlow. Thank you all for sharing me with others. 
and for all of the fantastic likes you put up. I have a um, a sandwich, uh, live sandwich build coming up in about uh, 25 minutes. Uh, no, all lives matter. Uh, that, no. Uh, see. doesn't matter where at in the world you are. We are human beings and we need to start treating everyone equal. Everyone. No one is better than anyone else. That's male, female, white, black, gay. It doesn't matter. We need to treat humanity right. Yes, it does. It does. It does matter. No, it does not matter. Yes, I'm a Christian. But it, I'm a Christian and I don't judge. If you judge because of color, you will be. And that is a fact I know for as my life is here. Here's the thing. I was in prison for 20 years. I was not a racist in prison or before prison and now after prison. I am not. And I think racism is an archaic, old, stinking, rotten thing to do to people. And so I don't believe in it. It's wrong. Um, Queen, I think Bigfoot is real, just smarter than we are because you can't catch him. Rav, you have to go to my link tree on my homepage here and look up the Now Chat podcast. I can't talk about it in here. TikTok tends to ban me for it. And uh, I've been 10 months without getting banned since I stopped saying that. But um, the podcast kids did a wonderful job. It's a It's an hour long podcast. Uh, yeah, I know, Kells, but I do. Absolutely, TikToker. There's only one. And my philosophy on God is this. Muslims believe in God. No, and they call them something different. Jews believe in God. Christians believe in God. I believe there is only one God. So why are we fighting over him? Because he has a different He is, he's number one. Yes, yes, 58. And that's the whole thing I'm trying to let everybody know. There's only one God. So what if they call him something different in a different part of the world? So what if their book is a little different than our book? It's still one God, and he's important to everyone. Um, All over, Jamie, all over. There, You know, Gene Roddenberry had it right when he said there's a federation of planets. There are billions of planets out there and countless races. And our technology has jumped so much in the last hundred years that we're getting ready to learn something really new. And in 2024, it's going to be there. Well, thank you. I I tried to have a little bit of brain power working for me.
<laughs> well, thank you all. About seven years old or eight, maybe. She said, do you want to go to church? I went, yeah. Didn't know what church was. Never been to one. Yes, Omega. Absolutely. Look at look at Odin. All right. Odin is the Norse God. He's the number one. All right. Number one. That's because there's only one. But if you're raised in a different part of the world, he has a different name. And that, you're right. But it doesn't mean that the other religions are wrong because they say it differently. Not much, Ren. How are you doing? Nice to see you. I'm, I'm just, a, I just believe, uh, Stefan. I believe in the one. And so that doesn't really make me denominational because there's a, I, I don't know how to put that. Yes, Kells, you're right. Well, Stefan, that, there's plenty of people who believe it's not true. I choose not to judge. Because one of the commandments is probably, I think, the most important. It says, judge not, least you be judged. If you judge on something somebody thinks, then you will fall under judgment yourself. And it doesn't matter how clean you are. When it comes down to number one, wow. That, that we can't afford to be judged. Yes, and, and that's true, Omega. But they still have one main person. And I believe that all the other stuff that filtered down from that one is, is what happened to a lot of religions and a lot of different uh, ideas. Yes, Omega, absolutely. And so anyway, oh, this is dry now. All right, this is the Bombay piece. Now what I have to do is I have to, to paint that black inside there and not get a bunch of paint on everything else. So I'm thinking I should use this square tipped brush right here. And where's my black? Here it is. Here's the black paint. Okay, where's, oh, there it is. Now, something I did, um, I spilled one of these once. So I made this little container to hold my acrylic paints so they wouldn't tip over anymore. Yes, yes, Nate. And I agree with that. Well, Stefan, we don't know that for sure. And that's the whole uh, thing about this. We can all speculate. And we can and we can believe, uh, you know, a lot of different ways. Thank you very much, Yahweh. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, um, I know, she is. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Elias. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Hi, narcissist. How you doing? Uh, yes, cat girl. I have some Star Wars. Um, yeah, and I they're all they're all packed away. I can't show them to you. <clears throat> I'm from Washington State, USA. 
Bro. That's a good song. <clears throat> Six minutes and I start my my uh my sandwich build. <clears throat> yeah, I should have been drinking more water. <clears throat> Okay, so we got to set this up. Yep, we're going to do that. Go here. Go there. Uh, <clears throat> had it right the first time. Ah, okay. <clears throat> okay, that is set up. Now, let me see. I think maybe... I should All right, and that is a bomb. Okay, so we're going to set that right there. We've got to get this over here <clears throat> out of the way. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. All righty. <clears throat> set that there. Put these away there and there. Those out of the way. And this out of the way. Hi, Russell. How are you doing? I'm going to make a sand live sandwich build, Russell. I'm getting ready to do that right now. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, that there. Those all get pushed out of the way. This got to go over there. Yep, put them over here. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, just about ready. But cranberry on bread, though, huh? That might be pretty good, actually. Uh, Luca, um, I'm getting ready to do my live sandwich build, but yeah, I can show you some things because it's not quite ready. There's these two, yeah, R2 and C3PO, all made out of recycled paper. And uh, uh, we've got this right here, yep, that's uh, ATST all train scout transport, and uh, doesn't look this green. It's grievous. So <clears throat> let me see what else we got. Oh yeah, I got I got my concept tank. All right. Recycled paper, everything that I make, all recycled paper. Okay, so let me see. I need this. Yep. All right. We need the cleaning cloth. We need uh this wrap. So that I can wrap up my sandwich with it. We need this over here. And so. These are Lysol wipes. 
and they kill 99.9% .9 of the germs. In other words, uh, they hedged their bet by 0.9. It's impossible to have that. This kills all germs, you guys. And yeah, I know it says 99.9. .9. All right. So anyway, that means 0.1% of germs are going to survive it? Really? Huh. Clean hands. And this is a granite countertop. Nothing sticks to it, even glue. All righty. So, and now one more time over my hands. Make sure they're nice and clean. Oh, thank you. I, is that I? It's L E A V T. Lavetti. Thank you, Lavetti. Hi, Snippy. How are you? Brian, my day's been going good. 25,000 likes. 26,000 now, yeah. Y'all are doing the likes amazing. And Kim, thank you for the rose, Kim. Uh, yeah, cat girl, they do. And yeah, because there might be 0.1% of a germ left. <laughs> oh, thank you for the roses, Kim. All right. Now that's red day. Okay. And I'm on time. What do you know? Sometimes I even amaze myself. <laughs> yes. Sandwiches. Oh, thank you, Hog. Oh, that's Hag. Old Hag. Oh, thank you for the rose, old hag. Eh, roses. S-A-R-A-H. Thank you, Sarah, very much. Welcome to the show. <clears throat> now... This is a purple onion, and I don't know how hot it is. So, I think I should maybe do a test on it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty hot. Okay, that's a hot onion. So, I want to cut these really thin. <laughs> Thank you, Nat. And for not being an average garden gnome... I want to thank you all for hosting me in your homes and phones and uh, TVs and wherever else you host me. I think that is just spectacular what you all do. Thank you for the like you put up and for sharing me with others. Uh, <laughs> well, if I'm any uh, kind of implication on that, uh, I would say, yeah, because I'm not your average garden gnome. And, and one of my gnomies told me that... Uh, uh, the reason I didn't get petrified with all my other Nomi family is because I was inside a dumpster digging for recycled paper to build with when the flash went off and I didn't get, you know, I didn't get nuked. All my other Nomis are petrified. Very tough situation. <laughs> Thank you, Cody. That's kind of a good idea. Well, it was uh, to get, I have two tables and there it was $80 to get them. 
And so I'm uh, kind of hoping that I can make more than that because that would be wonderful news. Well, I tapped that. It was supposed to answer. Oh, well. No big a deal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Nat. Um, me too, providing um, I have to, you know, uh, cut a lot of them. Yeah, it's um, uh, the toy show has been doing that for a lot of years, and so and they sell a lot. You know, it's I don't need more than back in here. this i'm making uh i'm working on uh, the thai bomber that's what i'm building today but right now i'm making a sandwich because uh it's lunchtime and i have to eat and thank you kelly Hi, Daddy. How are you doing? Yes, Cactus. Thank you. Uh, okay, I'm in. I'm in over here. Yep. All right. Got to have my buddy Major. Um, a fish sandwich. Oh, that's what I forgot. Lemon. Oh, no, I didn't forget it. Got it right here. Lemon on fish is good. Oh, thank you for the crown, Kells. Yeah, cactus. Yeah, that's cool. Hi, Joaz. Nice to see you. Hi, Kip. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of uh, assisted... Uh, Now, you punch all these little holes in here, so when you put on your lemon, it soaks in. Because lemon and fish is really good. Jack. Oh man, that's tough on my dyslexia. Thank you, Minnie. Thank you, Sheriff.
And so I have my camera all set up up there. Yeah. And so anyway, uh, I need mustard. Yep. Mustard, horseradish, uh, bread. That's what, whoop, wait a minute. No, nope. got to get some cheese on here. And uh, tartar sauce. Very good with fish. Wow. Thank you, Dill. That's amazing, you guys. Fantastic number of likes. That's awesome. Hi, Chris. Nice to see you. Welcome, everybody, to my phone show. Thank you for hosting me in your homes and phones and stuff. Well, thank you, Rose, very much. Uh, that's a ho, ho, ho. Eh, no, Dan. Guard, guard gnome, Dan. Not to be confused with the jolly fat man. He gives you toys. I don't do that. I teach you how to make you toys. Go to my YouTube site, The Paper Engineer. You can learn how to do this fantastic stuff. Well, you can't learn how to do my Dagwoods. That's kind of, you have to watch the videos. One, two, three, four. I need two more. Okay. Yeah. And now I probably have to uh, cut the rest of these up and eat them. Because there's not enough there uh, to do another uh, Sammy. And this is mozzarella cheese, you guys. I made her. How are you doing? Nice to see you. I got made her here. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, which one I'm going to wear tomorrow, okay, girl? Whatever shirt that I pick out, I'll get a matching hat for it. Hey, Frogtown. Uh, actually, roast possum it would be really good. Uh, once you get the grease off it, it's absolutely fine. And they're very clean. A lot of people think possums are dirty. They are not. Well, Blue, I'm working on um, I'm working on my sandwich build right now, but other than that, I am uh, I am working on uh, the Thai bomber because I want to get it ready for the toy show uh, tomorrow, and so I'm trying to get it finished. Yeah, Frog Town possums are actually really good, and they a lot of people think they eat garbage, but they don't. They eat greens. Uh, greens and... They're dirty. They're not. Well, thank you, Rose. Yeah, it really is blue. Um, and I learned that from, uh, who was it that, that told me that, that I learned it from? Smirk and Gherkin here on TikTok is the, is the one that has possums at home. And uh, I was talking to her quite a bit about them.
Oh, Queen, that's cool. Thank you, Blue, very much. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you for the roses, Eddie. That's awfully nice. <laughs> yeah, uh, upper deck peeling avocados were nothing compared to peeling kiwis. And then I met a kiwi one time, and he told me, he said, what'd you peel them for? He just pulled the end off the fuzzy end and just ate it like an apple. And I went, what? And so ever since then, kiwis become a favorite fruit. All right, what am I missing? Oh, that's what I'm missing. Yep, that's garbage. And this is roughage. Got to have some roughage. I'm almost out. I'm going to have to get some more. But that's okay. Next week is a good time to get more. All righty. Let's see. Now, these tender ones in the middle, those are probably the best. And so today, since this is Friday, it's the last sandwich of the week. Uh, I'm not going to eat those. No. Nah. I'm just going to eat these little ones. Okay, those are going in there. All right. Yep, those are all good. Okay, so we got those. Got roughage. That's ready. That's out of here. Okay. And now, I think I'm going to use almond slices today. Just little almond bits. I think I got it, folks. How you doing? Uh, that's Berg? Tobias? Hi, Tobias. Welcome to my phone show. Nice of you to join my phone show. Thank you for coming by. Oh, yeah, I make, but see, this is a two-meal deal, uh, Nat. Nat? Nate? Nat. That two-meal deal. Um, this makes one sandwich, but I cut it in half, and I have the other half for dinner tonight. Thank you, Simon. And Monday, I get to eat the heels. Oh, they're my favorite part. Okay, so... We have ta-ta sauce here because I'm having a fish sandwich. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't want it to squirt out, so I, I poked it into the bread. Now, Kobe, crust is the best part. And now, this is this is the only thing that I use on almost every sandwich, is horseradish. Because horseradish... It is very hot, but in a sandwich this big, it just adds flavor. You don't get the heat.
Uh, Hugo, today is a fish sandwich. <laughs> Thank you, Kobe. Oh, I know what I forgot. Almonds to stay in place. I'm going to put them over here on this tartar sauce. And then we just kind of smush them in so they don't fall off. Huh. Well, I think I'm ready. 104th, welcome. Haven't seen you in a long time. How are you doing? Nice of you to stop by. Uh, my day's been good. I'm building a, a sandwich build. Uh, since I got my new office, I, I've been able to uh, to build a live sandwich build. And so it's one of those kind of things. It's just doggone cool. Thank you, Spartan, very much. Okay, this is a fish sandwich. Now, we have the fish here. And so, it is a two-meal deal. I have half the sandwich for lunch, half for dinner. So, we're going to cut this ahead of time so that this works out better. All right, now let me think. Fish. What's going to taste good on the fish? Well, I better have just a little bit more lemon because fish without lemon, and it, it's really good. <laughs> oh, thank you, Hugo. Yeah, my wife got it for me. And I think I'm going to go with uh, Mater. And since I don't need this one, And waste not, want not, everyone. And I the other day when I did apple on this fish sandwich, it was really good. Oh, wow. Here I am building this. I forgot to turn the video on. Oh, man, I can't do that. Ah, okay. Here we go. I got to start over. Okay, here we go, Paper Army. Hi, Paper Army. Welcome to another sandwich build by the Paper Engineer. This is going to be a fish sandwich today. And uh, so I have tartar sauce and almonds on uh, my English toaster bread. And then we're going to put some maters on here. I think I got this backwards this time, but that's okay. And then some apple. Because the apple actually turned out pretty good. All right, now I think I'm going to put on a little bit of this air roughage because it's important. Roughage is good for you. It helps the digestive system work and all that. Now, these are these are all the little pieces out of the very center of this red leaf uh, uh, lettuce that I have. And um, very good and high in, uh, I don't know what, fiber. And so those are on there. Set those in place. And now, these were very hot onion. 
And so I'm only putting on, you know what? I think I'm only going to put those on there like so. I think that ought to do it just fine. And now we want some avocado on here because I like avocados very much. Put that avocado on there just like that. And put this over here just like this. And that does that. And of course, uh, Sandwich Dad loves this. It's cheese. And put that cheese on there like so. And this uh, cheese over here is some more like now, that pretty much covers an email wrap because the sandwiches are important. Oh, we're doing great on time. Now, this is um, uh, horseradish and mustard. And that is something, as you know, I always add because the horseradish has an am amazing flavor. All right, and now we need to dissect this just like so. Aha! Whoops, wrong. Oh, there it is. And now get this wrap on here like this so that it all stays together. Very good. Now we try it out. Cross section looks good. Oh, yeah. Bon appetit, Paper Army. Wow. N U C L E O. Nucleopolis, thank you. Nope, Kinley, I could, but I don't. Don't have time. Uh, Kinley, did you go to my YouTube page, The Paper Engineer? Uh-oh, I lost my half a sandwich, fell off. That's crazy. Come on, go back together, you. This is my dinner. It can't fall apart. Okay, wait a second. I know how to fix that. We're going to stick it back in this, in this sandwich bag. That'll keep it from falling apart. <laughs> Got it, coach. Okay. Yeah. Stick that in there, too. There we go. That won't fall apart. Huh. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, because I'm not your average garden gnome. And so, that's kind of why the gnome hats all came about. Uh, my wife decided to get them for me. Your model a frog? That's cool. I'm glad you got one. Yeah, Dill, it really is. It's fantastic. Uh, nothing happened to a cat girl. I've been so busy with getting the um with getting the uh Thai bomber finished. I didn't have time um to get Negan's bat done till next Friday. So the toy show took precedence over um, uh, Lucille. Kenny, bonjour from Paris. Thank you. Well, and how do you... 
Kermodle a frog. Kermodle a frog. Well, that's cool news. I got a red one too. Oh, that's good, 104. Thank you very much. Um, toast. I hope I got that right, Blue. I crossed the sock. You must be a Simpsons fan. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh wow. Thank you, cat girl. I didn't even notice. Well, I tell you what. Really? Well, doesn't want to end. <laughs> Come on, you stupid piece of garbage. Aha! Finally figured it out. Thank you all for coming to my phone show, for sharing me with others, and thank you for all the likes. Anyway, thank you all very much. I salute you. Your fantastic paper army people and your great gnomes. Absolutely great. And the squirrel train is full of paper army gnomes and we love it. So thank you all. And I will be back Monday, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is the same bat time, same bat channel as every other weekday. And so thank you all very much. If you would like to see me again in three hours, I will be back. So y'all take care. Goodbye.